Hey, what's going on fellas? It's your boy Ian and welcome to the Fit Man Style channel. This is where we talk about menswear for the muscular guy, the athletic guy, the fit guy. Because trust me, I understand that struggle all too well, so I'm here to help you along that process. If you're new here, welcome. Uh, I encourage you to look at my older videos that I've done in the past. I'm going to link one up right now so you can check that out. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button as well. It helps this channel to grow. And if you're not new here, welcome back and let's get into today's topic. The difference between style and fashion is very simple. Fashion fades. It's here today and gone tomorrow. It may have a little buzz here and there, but it, it eventually dies out. Style, however, is timeless, it's classic, it's original. It's literally one of those things that you can pass down from generation to generation. Your grandfather wore it, your father wore it, you wear it, and you can pass it down to your son. It makes such an impact that it can, it can inspire generations. Corduroy is full in that style category. Now, before you start your corduroy hate, you have to understand, if you're a real menswear connoisseur, enthusiast, Corduroys are a staple in the men's wardrobe, especially this time of the year when it gets really cold outside. Corduroys can be very versatile and efficient. So in this video, we're going to divide it into two parts. The first part, we're going to go through an overview of, of corduroys and, and what it is. And the second part is going to be a review of some unique little corduroys that I got a few weeks back. So if you want to skip to that, go there right now. If not, let's talk about the corduroys. Corduroy got its introduction into menswear during the reign of King Edward VI. See, back in those days, aristocrats were the influencers of those days. Kind of like what Kim Kardashian is, her sister Kylie Jenner, even us YouTubers that come on here and talk about different, different brands, right? So whatever they wore around town became the talk of the town and everybody wanted to be like them. However, not everyone could afford those very expensive fabrics and garments that they wore. In comes corduroys, which was a cotton fabric with twisted yarn on it that looked like ridges. And it, it, it kept them warm during those cold months. And it wasn't like velvet, but it had a velvety feel. So it was sort of like them, their version of keeping up with the Joneses without breaking the bank. You know how that is. In its essence, corduroy is meant for the outdoorsman. So the hunter, the farmer, the fisherman, the mountain climber, if you're out in the elements during cold weather months, corduroy is very functional in keeping you warm. Now those ridges that I mentioned earlier, those are actually called whales. And I don't know who comes up with these menswear rules, but there's a particular rule with these whales that no one seems to be disputing, so let's just run with it. If you take a measuring tape and you put it against a corduroy garment, if there are a lot of whales within an inch, it's considered to be a more classier garment. I wouldn't say formal, because corduroys in itself are typically for less than formal garments. So let's say it's more classy. Uh, but if you, if you look at the ridges within an inch and it's less, then that's considered to be less, less classy. So corduroys can be made into suits, sport coats, pants, I mean, the hierarchy of pants, this is where I feel corduroy pants fall. You have your tuxedo pants, your dress pants, and then there's a tie for third place between corduroy and chinos. They can be a great alternative to chinos, uh, a step down from dress pants, but definitely a step up from jeans. So you have your tuxedo pants, dress pants, corduroy chinos in third place, jeans, and of course your shorts and sweatpants after that. How do you style corduroys? Well, because of its versatility, the styling options are endless. When it comes to colors, think of colors that you would wear in any other garment when it comes to versatility. So your different shades of blue, your different shades of brown, your different shades of gray, black as well. There's some crazy colors out there like yellow, green, and red. Do whatever your heart d d desires. As mentioned before, it can be made into a suit, but I feel corduroys look better when paired with other fabrics. So say a corduroy jacket with some flannel pants or, or, or a corduroy jacket with, with some jeans, um, corduroy pants with a tweed jacket. Because of the textured nature of corduroys, it looks really good when paired with another textured fabric. So say a worsted wool cardigan or, or a tweed jacket with some corduroy pants. I believe that gives you more depth and character to the clothes that you wear. 
So let's talk about these corduroy pants that I picked up from Uniqlo a few weeks back. I believe they ran me about $30, so not bad. Uh, Uniqlo is a brand that I've been looking to review for a while now to see if they have clothes that fit the fit man. I did buy a, a flannel shirt from them last year and it still fits. It's been through the laundry cycle a few times and it still fits me. So I'm very confident that when it's time to clean these pants that these will hold up very well. Speaking of cleaning, it does say machine wash cold but just to be on the safe side, I'm going to dry clean these. So I stopped by the store and I saw these navy blue cords and I don't have I don't have corduroys anything. So I figured why not start slow and get me some pants. As soon as I held it, man, it really does feel amazingly soft. It it really is a poor man's velvet. It is made from 99% cotton and 1% spandex. So it does have a little bit of stretch to it. It is a classic fit. So it drapes nicely on me and it is ankle length. So it stops right at my ankle so I don't have to cuff my pants. The waistband is elastic. So that's cool for when you know you have a little bit of a gut there like I tend to have from time to time. Um, but the very interesting part of this of this um, pant are these drawstrings that it has. Now I assume that if you do not want to wear a belt with these, you can just tie these drawstrings and it would form it as a belt inside of the pants. And you just button up the pants and away you go. Now I am looking to take away the belt loops on these pants and put some suspender buttons on the inside so that when I wear my suspenders with these corduroys, it will give me that nice streamlined look. So what do we learn from corduroys? It's a very timeless classic piece that's making quite a bit of a comeback. It can be very functional and efficient during cold climates like Massachusetts. It can take quite a beating and keep you very warm. It was about mid-twenties a few days ago and I wore those pants and I was feeling very warm below the waist. Versatility, think of colors. The navy blue that I have is very versatile, but also the other colors that I mentioned earlier in this video. It's best to wear paired with other textured garments to give you more depth and character in the clothes that you wear and just have fun with it. Get out of the mindset that it's this old fashioned, you know, fabric that only old people wear. You know, brands like U Uniqlo and other different brands are bringing back corduroys and giving them quite a bit of a modern look. All right, that does it for me, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I know I enjoyed making this for you. I'm gonna link in the description, uh, a link to those corduroy pants that I bought so you guys can ch check it out. As always, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate you joining me. I will be back here next week, same time, same place. And like always, stay fly, stay fit. It is currently 24 degrees here in Massachusetts. Smoke's coming out of my mouth. It's very, very cold. And I'm wearing my corduroy pants. As you can see, these pants are freaking awesome in a weather like this, even though my head's bald and I'm freezing up top, but down below, I'm very, very warm. So corduroy is definitely a good investment in the fall and winter time.